say girls and dolls. Is it girls and dolls? Gals and dolls? I forgot what it is. Okay, but you know what I'm talking about. So, this is going to be an update about my ear. I was waiting or trying to wait until I had a positive report before I filmed the video so I could say, okay, this piercing took this long, this piercing took this long, and this piercing took this long. However, we're still going through the process. There is a particular piercing that has been giving me problems from day one. If you don't know, I got my ears pierced uh, a year and seven months ago. I have it right here on my thing. A year and seven months ago, I went and got three piercings at the same time. I got a helix piercing, a rook piercing, and I think the other one was anti-tragus. I believe that's what it was called. Anyway, I posted another video, a follow-up, when my ears started acting up. It got swollen and red and hot, and it just was a mess. So I posted a video, I will link that as well. And it turned out that my ear was infected. So I had to go to the doctor and she gave me antibiotics and, and that knocked out the infection. After that, my rook piercing, the one, I don't know if you can see it, but this one here, took about two months to heal. It was, for the most part, fine. It was the first one to heal. My guess would be because it was kind of in a little and the others were exposed and one of the things that kept happening was i kept snagging them you know you take your shirt off and you catch your ear or giving people hugs and they they put their head there and it's like bang and now your ears hurting or sleeping um you know i kept sleeping on this side even though i would try not to i just kind of would flip over on my own my hair they told me to keep my hair off of it and i was wearing it out and down anyway i was just having all kinds of issues with well that's not true the what is this called the helix one was okay uh maybe after about three months so the Rook took about two months. The Helix took about three. <sighs> On to the pain in my behind, which was this one here. Um, the I think it's called the Antitragus. I'll double check that. That one, oh my goodness. So this has been going on now for a year and seven months. It started when I got it pierced. They used a titanium rod. Now. In my experience, my ears are funny style. They, they're just, mm. I need gold earrings. I, I have to have gold earrings. If I wear any type of fake jewelry or silver or anything like that, I have problems. My ears always get irritated and it just, it just doesn't work for me. I let the piercer convince me that titanium was better than gold and so I'd be fine. No, I wasn't fine. So it continued to hurt, it continued to swell, it continued to bleed. Um, it just carried on for a while. And they told me, you know, this was a piercing that takes longer to heal, so don't panic. So I'm like, okay, fine. I let it go about six months and it still was not healed. And then I went to another piercer and said, I need a gold post. They also told me that there was some other something that was better. And I'm like, okay. Again, I fell for it and let them put that in my ear. Same thing, same thing. No improvement, it just kept bothering me. You know, here we are now a year into this piercing and I still can't sleep on this side. I still can't hug anyone on this side. It's just, oh my God, it's a mess. So I'm, I'm doing sea salt soaks and saline sprays and tea tree oil and anything you can think of to try to fix this piercing. I don't want to take it out because I think it's cute, but I'm like, oh my God. Like I also don't want to end up with cauliflower ear. One of my coworkers told me about this and I Googled it and I, no, that not over a piercing. So. I started getting nervous, like, oh my God, is, am I gonna have to take it out? Especially after going through all this time of, of dealing with the nonsense. So 
I finally go to another piercer and get them to actually put a gold bar in my ear. I'm thinking now this is gonna save me. I'm good now, I'm good to go. Yeah, no, no, um, no. So it did improve slightly, however, not enough. Um, it continued to bother me and I started to lose hope. And, and the reason I'm, I'm telling you this now, I kept waiting for that day so I could come on and say, okay, this is how long it took to heal. And we're just, we're not there yet. So anyway, I changed out the earring finally. I just said, screw it. Instead of wearing the thick things that they use to pierce you, I just changed it out and put my own little hoop in it. And it's, it's gotten significantly better, I think, because it's just a smaller earring. Um, still not healed. Now, I will say it no longer hurts. However, I know that it's not healed because if I take it out, it bleeds. So still not healed, but the pain has subsided. So I think we're on the right track, I think. Anyway, I just wanted to give an update because people keep asking and I didn't want to just leave you hanging, but I really was trying to wait until I could say, okay, it took this for this, this for this, this for this, bye. Then we're still going. So uh, a year and seven and a half months later, and this one has still not healed. I'll do a close up just so you can see what they look like. So that is it. Um, <laughs> I wish I had better news. Um, but yeah, my ear hasn't fallen off yet, so I guess that's good. But I, we're still here and still waiting. So yeah, just wanted to update you. So I hope everyone who has gone through this, I hope their stories turned out better than mine. Um, and I will keep you posted.